USA class of 2024. I'm your interim principal, Mr. William Breisch. You are moving on to one of the best schools in the nation at PMSA. We are so excited to have all of you walk through our doors next year, and we have a lot of exciting things in store. Welcome, students. I want to say congratulations on graduating from eighth grade. I know this isn't what you guys expected, but I'm really excited to get to see you guys in the fall and get to meet you. Here are a couple of pieces of advice for you for over the summer. Number one, please do your summer homework. Get it done, knock it out, you can do it. Number two, if you wanna work on your reading and writing skills, I highly recommend just practicing reading and writing. You could read a blog, you could listen to an audiobook, you could write poetry, you could keep a journal, whatever you enjoy. Number three, this would be a great time to get in good habits, like getting eight hours of sleep every night just to make sure that you're in a good place when you get to the fall. And finally, feel free to reach out at any point. If you attended any of our open houses, you are probably aware we do not have a gym. However, that does not stop us from having fun. We play games like hockey, handball, pickleball, dodgeball, and even volleyball. We have tournaments and competitions, and we do lots of other activities just to get you guys up and moving. Can't wait to see you in the fall. Stay healthy. We're really excited to have you. Please do as much Khan Academy as you can this summer. That's the best way that you can prepare for all the math that you're going to learn here at PMSA. Have a fun and safe summer, and we'll see you in the fall. Oh, hello. Do you like creating new pieces of artwork? Do you like trying new materials, new techniques? Then you are going to love the art department at PMSA. Here are a couple of my pieces right here. See you next year. And I want to welcome all of you. I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you in the library next year and talking about books and literature and teaching you all about the databases and research and any other training that you need. I'm there to help you. Welcome on board and I look forward to seeing you. Take care. Have a good summer. My piece of advice for you in freshman is that make sure you do the work. These teachers aren't giving you work just to let you throw it in the garbage. No, you're just supposed to do the work. And just because you don't want to do one difficult assignment, it all piles on. So you'll just get overwhelmed and that's not how you want to live your freshman year or any year. My advice to any incoming freshman is to not be afraid to join sports or be involved in any extracurricular after school activities. I say this because middle school is very different from high school because in high school you have to adapt to a whole new group of people. That being said, joining clubs or sports or whatever you're interested in helps speed up the process because you're developing leadership and communication skills help you become more confident and comfortable in this new environment. This is a privilege though, so if you can handle the responsibility of keeping your grades up, then you should go for it. One piece of advice I would give you is to always do your homework because homework is your cushion to fall on if you don't do so good on assignment or test. My advice is to not be scared. You know, it's you're going to a new high school, a different high school, new friends, new everything, new teachers and stuff, but you should not be scared. For example, if you need help, you should ask your counselor, your teachers, even upperclassmen. Hi, I'm coming freshman. I'm here to give you some advice for your freshman year. For starters, always leave a good impression with your teachers because it's really important to have a good relation with them because when things like deadlines and stuff come up, they're always really understanding and they're great to talk to when you have a lot of stuff going on. Another thing is always be prepared for class and always take notes and stay organized because when things like finals and tests come up, it's really helpful to have the notes around. Another thing is to make a schedule and find a balance between school and like extracurricular activities or work. Like I had a job, it was really hard to find time to do work and have um, your school work. Um, so always make a schedule. Another thing is that if you um, aren't focused, it's really easy to fall behind. And especially when you have AP classes, remember to always study. So things like forming a study group could help or just studying with yourself and finding good studying like methods. Um, lastly, I think it's just really important to find yourself and be yourself because you're a teenager and you're in high school.